Between 1998 and 2015, Pentagon, the U.S. Department of Defense, had $21 trillion in unsupported spendings that could not be accounted for. $21 trillion. Now listen closely. On September 10th, 2001, just a day before the infamous 9-11 attacks in the U.S., the U.S. Secretary of Defense, Donald Rumsfeld, declared war, not on any foreign terrorists, but on his own Department of Defense called the Pentagon. According to some estimates, we cannot track $2.3 trillion in transactions. The Secretary Rumsfeld promised change, but the next day, the very next day on September 11th, the world changed. And in the rush to fund the war on terrorism, the war on unaccounted defense spending in the U.S. was forgotten. More money was given for the Pentagon, while its own auditors admitted that the military could not account for 25% of what it spent. And where it spent. According to Secretary Rumsfeld, they could not track $2.3 trillion in transactions. By 2015, the amount reported missing by the Office of the Inspector General had increased to $6.5 trillion. And that was just for the Army. Using public data from federal databases, Mark Skidmore, a professor of economics at Michigan State University, found that $21 trillion in unsupported adjustments had been reported by the Defense Departments in the U.S. alone between 1998 and 2015. According to a 2013 Reuters report, the Pentagon is the only federal agency that has not complied with the 1996 American law that requires annual audit of all government departments. Maybe it was just a coincidence that the very next day of the admission by U.S. Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld, the 9-11 happened and the war on terrorism was waged by the whole world. Maybe it was just a coincidence.